So here at Building 904, we are constructing 72 cattle strip chambers for the forward muon system uh, of CMS. The original project uh, dates back to uh, the year 1999, where we built this chamber as a joint venture between US, China, and Russia. Uh, at this moment, given the uh, improved performances of the accelerator, uh, we are actually uh, uh, upgrading the detector by adding chambers of the exactly the original design, same manufacturing type, uh, uh, same size, uh, but they basically are need necessary in order to complete the uh, present uh, muon system in, in the very forward region. So uh, a chamber like this, uh, it takes about a week to build, to construct the chamber from bare parts. So we start from bare parts that we receive from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, industry, so industrial suppliers uh, or, uh, or uh, a university that manufacture, for example, the electronic boards which read out uh, uh, the signals from these chambers. And we proceed through a, a, a complete workflow from the original uh, elementary parts uh, all the way to the completion of a chamber, uh, testing of a chamber, and basically at the end, the, uh, the detector is ready to be installed uh, at CMS uh, in the underground cavern at point five. This is the first uh, phase of the uh, chamber construction workflow. Uh, so in this area, we actually glue these gap bars. We have tables, gluing tables. We perform the gluing of the gap bars. So the next step is to wind wire around the anode panel. So it's, it takes about 2.6 kilometer of 50 micron gold-plated tungsten wire. And it is about 1,000 uh, wire uh, uh, winds that uh, uh, go around the panel. It takes about four hours to complete one, uh, one panel. Okay, so this machine uh, performs automatic soldering of the wire on the soldering pad. So it performs 4,000 soldering joints in about six hours, uh, 1,000 wires on each uh, panel edge. And there is an operator here making sure that, uh, watching the TV camera, making sure that every uh, soldering joint is uh, uh, properly done. The completion of an anode panel uh, after the wires have been soldered is done by hand. We still need to solder uh, capacitors, resistors, connectors, grounds, and this is done by hand by a professional. Here are my colleagues from Hayab, Beijing and they provide, uh, uh, they, they basically complete one panel in about one and a half day. In this laboratory we perform the final assembly of one cattle strip chamber. Basically we put together seven panels, uh, and as you see here, uh, uh, seven panels, they're stacked together, they're tied together, they're sealed, we perform a leak test to make sure that uh, there is no leak after sealing the chamber. I remind you that the chamber is filled with a gas mixture uh, to uh, uh, allow the particles to ionize and to be detected during their trajectory. And this is a chamber which is in a more advanced stage. It's basically been sealed, has been tested, and now we are assembling the side panels. As soon as the chamber is constructed, we have to make sure that it withstand high voltage and, uh, and there is no leak for about two months. So we, we uh, operate this, the chamber under high voltage condition for 4,000 uh, kilovolts. As soon as the chamber uh, passes the test, then it is transferred into this area and it is integrated with the final electronics. So this is the electronics which is used to read out the strips and the wires and to trigger the chamber. And uh, this is where we install all the boards, we install all the cable harnesses, and uh, we provide flow of gas, and we install the cooling plate, and then we go to the next step, which is the actual uh, uh, chamber test, the complete test of the chamber, including the on-chamber electronics. This is the final step of the chamber production. It is the final testing of the chamber, including the on-chamber electronics. Uh, so we have duplicated here the exact, the exact data acquisition system that we use uh, at point 0.5 at CMS. And so we power the chamber and we perform a series of tests 
including tests with cosmic rays to make sure that the chamber uh, is responding, that every, chamber, every channel uh, uh, is properly working, functioning properly. So we validate, we do the final QC, QA on the chamber, and, and then after that the chamber is basically uh, ready to be packed and sent to 0.5 for installation in CMS.